In this video, I'll be revealing to you the personal statement, also called a statement of purpose, that got me two fully funded PhD scholarships, with one of them having an acceptance rate of 6%. I'll also be breaking down its integral components so you can understand how to replicate it for yourself and also get fully funded. If you're new to this channel, welcome. It's Zubi here and I'm a PhD data science student studying in the US. Subscribers to this channel are people who want to transit to the US and also make the best of their stay here. If you're interested in that, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's jump right in, starting with the elements of a good personal statement. There are about nine elements that makes up a good personal statement, but the only way they can be effectively communicated is through storytelling. Your personal statement shouldn't contain any statement at all, but these nine elements carefully crafted into stories. The elements are your personal background, your academic background, your research experience, your professional experience, that's talking about your full-time, part-time or volunteer roles, immediate and long-term goals, reason for being interested in that field, reason for also being interested in that particular institution, published or submitted papers, if any, interest, hobbies, and extracurricular activities, which is actually optional. My personal statement is made up of seven paragraphs, which we'll go through in a minute. After reading each paragraph, I'll show you the elements I crafted into that paragraph so you can know how to build yours. All right, let's get into the personal statement breakdown. Now, this is the personal statement I used to get two fully funded PhD scholarships, which we'll be going through together. Coming from a mathematics background, my passion for problem solving and data stirred a strong interest in me to pursue data science. In my second year in the university, my academic advisor, with his name, a fluid mechanist, took a special interest in my development because of my keen interest in mathematics and my willingness to always discuss analytical ways to solve problems. One of the days, while expressing my interest to him, he told me about data science. I had never heard of it before, but the idea deeply resonated with me. Further research on the new subject matter led me to the books Christopher M. Bishop's Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning and Data Science and Big Data by Kenneth Kokia and Victor Meyer Schromberger. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that so well. These two books solidified my decision to pursue data science. This led me to take a course on computer programming and in my third year, two courses on business, which brought illumination and deeper understanding to the concept. Now, this paragraph contains elements one, two, and six. My personal background stated where it all started, which also contained my academic background, and I connected it to my reason for being interested in data science. So to get an idea of where to start your story from, you can ask yourself, how did I become interested in this particular field? What made me interested in studying pharmacy or history, for instance? You have to seek to be yourself so your story will flow and engage your readers on an emotional level, which is actually the goal. Okay, so the second paragraph. Under the supervision of my advisor's name, I conducted research that analyzed the exact solutions of Navier-Stokes equations of three basic flows, which are the unidimensional flow, Poiseuille flow and the Coet flow. I developed a two-stage processing pipeline for this purpose. In the first stage, I assumed the fluid flow to be incompressible, steady, fully developed and without dependence on body force in order to reduce the Navier-Stokes equations to a second order ODE, which I then solved using the separation of variables method. The outputs were the pressure and velocity gradient of the Poiseuille and Coet flow. Next, I analyzed the general solutions, pressure and velocity gradient using MATLAB with suitable choices of values for arbitrary constants and the fluid molecular viscosity. The main conclusion of my study is the relationship between the velocity of the flow and the radius of the pipe for a Poiseuille flow and the relationship between the velocity of the moving plates and that of the fluid for a quiet flow, which can be applied in solving challenges with the efficient transportation of oil and gases through pipelines. This paragraph just contains one thing my research experience. I wanted to show in the best way possible that I have a good research experience. Okay, continue with paragraph three. My learning experience under the guidance of my supervisor has convinced me not only of the potential of research, but also of the value of teaching. Furthermore, working as a graduate assistant in the mathematics department for two years gave me a better platform to teach elementary mathematics courses in the university 
and the opportunity to collaborate with my students and colleagues in conducting research works. My training has been mostly in the areas of analytical and quantitative reasoning, which accounts for my 84th percentile score in the GRE, and my writing skills weren't very good when I took the exam in 2017. These have tremendously improved now owing to my work experience as a graduate assistant and my various writing experiences during my master's degree. This paragraph expresses elements two and four. I spoke about my professional experience, highlighting the area that relates to my field of interest, data science, as well as my academic background, where I spoke about my test score and my reason for not doing very well in the writing section of the GRE. Your personal statement is an opportunity to explain anything that looks like a red flag in your application packet. If you've gotten value from this video so far, I would like to invite you to give this video a like. Please hit the like button below. Thank you very much. Now moving to the fourth paragraph. My passion for data science led me to pursue a master's degree in applied statistics at Bowling Green State University, Bowling Green, Ohio. My current thesis is a study of online auction processes using functional data analysis under the supervision of supervisor's name. I'm currently analyzing the various auction prices of 183 bidders for a Palm Pilot M515 on eBay. Using functional principal component analysis, I've reduced the multiple dimensions of this data to two principal components that account for 91% of the variability of the model. I also use clustering techniques like k-means and hierarchical clustering to group the data. This clustering has effectively classified bidders based on their pricing behavior. And my goal between now and March 2022 is to further analyze the online auction processes of this device and to build a predictive model for, for, for future auctions. I enjoy this research because it equips me with the analytical skills needed to research neuroscience, which I have a strong interest in. This paragraph expresses elements two, three, and a part of five. I spoke about my master's degree, which I was still doing at the point of writing it, and used that to talk about my ongoing research as well as my immediate goal in it. Notice the way I started and ended this paragraph, connecting it as a whole unified story. Okay, so let's continue to paragraph 5. My research interest is in using machine learning techniques to better understand and provide solutions to problems in neuroscience. For these reasons, the PhD in Analytics and Data Science program at Kennesaw State University, KSU, is especially attractive to me. I'm intrigued by several interesting research projects carried on by its faculty members. In particular, the name of the faculty members' research application in Medical informatics is fascinating. His works on, I put two papers there, were interesting to read. My research interest has also led me to follow the works of another faculty member in that department. I especially enjoyed reading the paper about, I put the name of the paper. It would be a privilege to study at the School of Data Science and Analytics at KSU under the guidance of its remarkable faculty. I'll say this paragraph is the crux of my personal statement. It expresses elements 5, 6, and 7. You see details that are specific to the program. That means your personal statement has to be unique for each university. Other paragraphs can be the same across all your personal statements, but one of them has to have details that are specific to that program that you're applying for. You usually should be able to get the names of the faculty as well as their research from the department's website. If you can't do that, you can jump on to scholar.google.com, type in the faculty's name, and you will see all the research papers that have been published there. Because of the length, I'll read paragraphs 6 and 7 together. In addition, KSU has an international reputation for giving strong methodological training in modern computational and statistical methods. During my graduate studies at KSU, I hope to interact constructively with the best minds that share my passion for problem solving with data, as well as contribute uniquely to my graduate class. I intend to actively continue with research immediately after my PhD and to be a fully edged and well-equipped academic in the long run to serve the health needs of this great nation and more importantly, its vast population, advanced knowledge and competence are going to be of utmost importance. I hope to use the knowledge for the greater good of society and mankind in general. Now, these final paragraphs expressed elements 5 and 7 really well. That's usually how you want to close. Your personal statement should tell a story flowing from the past and then to the present, then to the possible future. 
Your personal statement definitely won't be perfect the first time. This version you're seeing is after five sets of reviews from other grad school students. So after your first draft, reach out to your professors or other grad school students studying here to help criticize it for you. As you should see your first personal statement as an experiment to write the first draft of your story, I'm also performing an experiment with this video by allowing YouTube to select the best video for you to watch next. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my newsletter, The Growth High, which goes out every Friday. Link in the description below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.